Hi Stampers, can you believe that May is over already and we're into June? It's time for another Video Kit Club. This month I have Butterflies Galore. We are going to be making a birthday card that um, any participant is just going to smile when they receive this. It's using a technique that I named um, Crystallized Sugar. It's using our brushable glue and glitter. And when you open up the card, they get butterflies on a spiral flying by. So let's get started. First of all in your kit you're going to need to receive an array of butterflies. And let's start with this. We're going to use the brushable glue and you want to use a, um, it's, it's easier if you use a wider brushed, um, wider tipped brush. This is the art brush number one if you need to add this to your kit. They are not included in the kit. But I am including the brushable glue this time because this technique uses a lot of glue and um, after you do this technique I'm sure you're going to be wanting to do some more. But what you're going to do is open up the brushable glue and you're going to stick the paintbrush into the glue, grab a butterfly and you're going to put a heavy coat, a heavy even coat of the glue on the butterfly. And it, I suggest go ahead and do all of your butterflies at one time and to um, go ahead and just make this mess once. It is a little bit messy but it's such a fun technique um, it looks great on the butterflies, flowers, um, stars, any shaped die cut like this. So after you've gone ahead and you put your um, glue or your glue down, then you're going to receive in your packet a green iris glitter. This is one of the clear glitters. So you're going to go ahead and just cover the whole butterfly with the glitter and go ahead and tap it off and it is going to dry clear so you'll be able to see the pink through it. Okay, so you're just going to set that aside then and you can go ahead and continue with your um, all the butterflies. And like I said, with the little ones your hands get a little bit more glittered but I'm just turning them upside down in a pile of glitter and letting it grab up a bunch of the glitter and then just sitting it aside. So you can go ahead and like I said just make the mess once and then it won't be so bad. It's a fun glittery mess. Okay so you're going to go ahead and do that with all your butterflies and since I've already got some done for my card today I am not going to make any more right now. So say goodbye to the butterflies. They're going to fly away. Okay, then in your kit you will receive also the patterned paper that goes on the front of the card and we're going to start by stamping our happy birthday sentiment up in the right hand corner. Our sentiments are both coming out of the happy birthday um, stamp. We've got the if I could give you any gift I'd give you love and laughter stamp and then the happy birthday to you but if you'd like to go ahead and include the whole set in your kit just go ahead and add that as an add-on in the notes. So you're going to start with the happy birthday to you. You're going to use Versamark ink. Ink up your stamp. Well, first of all, let's go ahead and use our ecstatic bag. And then we're going to go ahead and stamp the happy birthday to you. And in your kit, you will also receive the small version of dragon fruit. Now this is a brand new embossing powder. It's just out. So I know nobody has this one, but it's a really bright, pretty pink. 
embossing powder. So go ahead and dump that on, tap it off, and go ahead and heat it. Okay, and this is, um, this is one of the Cosmic embossing powders. It does have a little bit of sheen to it. So again, wait for your cardstock to completely cool, and then you can take a Swiffer cloth and wipe that off, and it'll wipe off the um, haze. There you go. Go ahead and put this um, on the card front first. I'm going to go ahead and use um, quarter inch double sided tape. Okay, so that goes on your card front. And then we're going to go ahead and um, put this um, ribbon strip on. I'm using red liner tape for this. I like um, I want to make sure it's a really strong hold. The red liner tape is not included in your kit, so make sure um, you have some in your supply. And I just went ahead and put it all the way across the patterned paper, not onto the white, and stick that down. And then in your kit you'll also receive the white grogain ribbon. So go ahead and pull up your strip there. And I'm starting over here off on this side, the right side, and I'm just going to stick it down. And then you want it to come over far enough flat to where a butterfly can lay here. And then we want to do the um, ruffling of the ribbon. And that's just folding a piece and sticking it down, and then folding the second piece and sticking it down. I don't know if the camera can see this, but I'm just folding over a piece of ribbon and sticking it down. And just go ahead and cover the rest of your tape in that manner. And you can zigzag it back and forth if you want to, or if you like the straight look, you can do it straight as well. Okay, and then go ahead and trim that. Okay, for the inside of your card, we're going to start by stamping our sentiment over on the right side. And again, this is the Love and Laughter stamp, and you're going to stamp it in Versamark. And you want to stamp it over on the right-hand side in the center. And I didn't use my embossing buddy. Use your static free bag. And then we're using the Dragon Fruit embossing powder again. You see what I was talking about the sheen on there? But go ahead and just leave it alone and heat it. Okay, so when it's completely cool, then go ahead and use your Swiffer cloth and wipe it off. Okay, so then um, for the inside, for your uh, butterfly swirl over here, in your kit you're going to get these white circles. And what you're going to do is take a pair of scissors and you're going to start on the edge and move in about a quarter and just cut a quarter of an inch and cut around the edge of the circle. And when you get to the beginning again, you just roll it in and you keep cutting in about a quarter of an inch. So then you end up with this nifty swirl. And you want to come down to the middle to where you have about I don't know, a pea size. This is what you're going to end up with then, a spiral. And what you're going to do is put this in your card spy, um, with the center down. And then you want the end of your circle that where you started cutting down at the bottom of your um, card. Okay, so then I'm using um, Tombow 
glue here. You want to use a strong adhesive. So I'm just going to go ahead and put a dot there and glue that down. And then the easiest way to do the top, I want it down a little, like this. Okay. Is to hold this down, put your touch of glue on just the end of the spiral. You just want it on the very end of your spiral circle. And then go ahead and just close your card and it'll go ahead and stick it right where you need it. But you need to let the glue dry. Okay? So go ahead and let that set for a little bit until your spiral Okay. And one thing I would suggest if you um, don't already have an adhesive eraser, these are not included in the kit as well, but for this particular card I have found that I've used it a lot because there's so much glue involved and such small areas. I've got a small bit of glue here from where um, it oozed out. So I'm going to go ahead and let that dry some and then I'm going to use the adhesive eraser and that just like wipes it right off. This is like a wonderful little tool. So go ahead, if you don't have any um, adhesive eraser, I would highly recommend one. Okay, and then you're ready to put on all your beautiful butterflies. And as you can see in the um, sample card, I put them all around the spiral. So I'm going to go ahead and start, um, and again I'm using the same Tombow glue, and you're just going to go ahead and stick them to the spiral. And I'm going to go ahead and put one right up here at the top to kind of cover up the end of the spiral. Okay, and you have enough butterflies to put three of the large butterflies on the inside of your card. Three large butterflies and at least um, one, two, three, four, five of the small ones. But I think you might, you probably have extras of the small. So you can probably put a few more if you wanted to. Okay. And then just go ahead and keep putting your butterflies on. Okay, and so when you get done, then you'll end up with a spiral of butterflies. And then for the front of the card, once your um, big butterfly gets dry, Mine's still wet, so I'm just going to go ahead and show you. I go, just go ahead and put a piece of red liner tape down the center and go ahead and stick that down. And then I just used glue, the um, Tombow glue again, and um, did the center and stuck it on there. And then also, um, let's see, a second butterfly. Let's do a pink one up here. Actually, I did the green in the middle. There you go. And then blue goes up here. Okay. And so, I'm not going to glue that down yet until it dries, but this is what your um, finished product, finished card is going to look like with the inside with all those butterflies that just go flying when you open the card. I hope you enjoy this month's video kit club, and I will see you again next month. Happy stampin'!